For this video and series, I wanted to make an analysis on the milestones and awards that exist in each map in terraforming Mars. Uh, and I wanted to begin with the Tharsis milestones. Now, milestones are a very important part of the early game. They really define how the early generations are played. And when you play terraforming Mars, you should always try to get at least one, uh, probably two if you're in a two player game, although you can obviously still win if you only take one. And I wanted to break them down on the basis of seven characteristics that I made up, made up some words for them too. Uh, and I'll go into detail, but first I wanted to just remind everyone that I, you know, I'm not gonna be giving any direct advice, and also I'm basically a barely above average terraforming mass player, so take everything with a grain of salt. And uh, I'm also not basing this on statistics that I research or anything is mostly an observation of all the games I played in the Steam platform. Uh, so it's also gonna be based on the base game plus prelude expansion uh, since I just haven't played that many games with the other expansions. I will be including corpse from other expansions but mostly only that. So let's go over the seven characteristics. So first off, gen, that's just meant to say how fast. I usually see the uh, milestone go and on what generation, what's the fastest it can go and what's the average where I see it go. Volatility is meant to be how easily the award can be stolen when you feel you have a solid lead on it. Deviation is meant to describe uh, how much you need to deviate from your strategy to get the milestone. So basically how much investment you're making purely into the points and not into what your normal development would be. Lockability is meant to be how easy you can stop a player from getting that milestone by just taking actions against it. Then the corporations are going to be basically the corporations that I see more aligned and have an advantage or lead on each milestone. Uh, the cap is going to be what uh, is usually in the way of you getting the milestone faster and the alignment what general strategies it aligns better with. So let's begin. So for Builder, I generally see it go in Gen 2 or 3. It's one of the fastest one and the fastest is usually 2. And I'll get into what corpse you can do that with, but Builder is usually one of the first to go. I'll get into which others comes next. Terraformer, on the other hand, I usually never see people pick it up. It's probably the one that goes latest. Uh, I've seen it in Gen 4 with UNMI, but only with UNMI, um, or some cr crazy credit card asteroid throwing uh, games. Uh, 5 or 6 is the more usual one, and this is mostly in two player games where players are more engine building. Uh, and maybe each have one milestone and they can get terraformer in the fifth or sixth but uh yeah terraformer is the one i see taking the least usually by the fifth or sixth generation they're all gone then mayor mayor can go really fast with preludes uh, and something like tharsis because you can start with two out of three cities uh however because cities are often not great earlier i usually see it more in three or four with the third city usually be being taken to just take the the milestone. Then Gardener, about as fast as Mayor, uh, for the fastest, but it can be uh, on, on average a little quicker because greeneries are a little better than cities early, especially if you have great plant production or play cards that give you plants directly, like imported hydrogen or something like Arctic algae. So Gardener and Builder are usually the two fastest milestones in this map and that's something you should always keep in mind. If you're not going for either of those, you need to watch because those can go really quickly. Um, and then finally Planner. Now Planner is weird. You can, you can get Planner if you want Gen 2. <laughs> Just keep every card and don't play anything. Uh, and uh, I mean assuming you get uh, a couple of uh, some help from your Prelude or card draw. But generally, I see it go a little later, you should get close to Mayor, although I, I don't see people claiming it in 2, but I do see it very often in 3, 
with four or five maybe being more common but if people want to rush this is the easiest one to just do what you want with it so yeah i would say it's a little slower than mayor but i i often see it go very close so you'll usually see builder and gardener go in most games and then the third award will either be mayor or planner terraformer is just very rare so let's get into volatility well so let's first talk about what milestones are composed of each milestone is a number and a thing <laughs> Aha. and when the number is low they're gonna be more volatile so in this case builder the number is eight you can only get one building tech per action and the most you can get is four in a row and this is another important thing that i wanted to mention and that's the uh something i'd like to call the four straight actions and that is the last two actions of the generation you were second in and the first two actions of the next generations in which you'll be first or in a in the case of a three-player game you know it's the one you were third and then first but yeah, this is basically your four straight actions. You can obviously take more if your opponent passes very quickly, but early in the game this is not very common. And so with Builder, you, if, if you have an advantage of three or four tags, uh, you're probably safe to take it, you're only competing with the other milestones. Uh, on to Terraformer. Um, Terraformer volatility, volatility is medium. Now, the number is very high, it's not 35, it's 15, because you start at 20. But unlike Builder, where you can only get one tech per action, with Terraformer you can get easily three or four steps with cards like Giant Ice Asteroid, NRA, or Deimos Down. And so, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, I think, a little more volatile. If you have seven steps ahead, that's a lot though, that's probably safe but uh, still a little more volatile than uh, Builder. Not too much because the cards that give you a lot of uh, steps are usually very expensive. Uh, some cards to be wary of early are Bright Comedy and Nuclear Sun, which are very cheap and give you two steps, but that's still only two steps. So yeah, a little less. Now, Mayor is the most volatile in my opinion. And uh, that's a combination of two things. The number is low, three, meaning you can get all three cities before your opponent can do anything. You can be up two to zero in that one, and they can just rush that award. And the other thing is that it's always available because there's a standard project for city. So now that's probably not going to happen like that. No one's going to pay 75, uh, well, 83 with the milestone to just steal the milestone uh, that early. But... Uh, my favorite way to steal this award is I'm down 2 to 0, my opponent passes, I play a cheap city like Corporate Stronghold or even Grand City, then I play a space city with uh, leftover titanium, so this is usually the reason your opponent doesn't see it coming, is you may have like 20 mega credits left and you use some for the first city, use some plus titanium to pay for Phobos or Ganymede Colony, and then your first and next generation, you take the SP city and you stole the milestone. Now this is only worth doing if you think the milestones are going to be a very big percentage of the game, so usually a shorter game, because you really are hitting your development when you do something like this, especially the three cities in a row, but two cities in a row with a space city and some leftover titanium, which is usually a resource not aligned with cities that players never see coming, can be done really well, and it, this is the... I, I often see this award even be taken from uh, corporations like Tharsis, which is usually sitting comfortably on two at the beginning of the game. So yeah, be very careful if you're going for this one. This is one you might have to rush a little bit if you see your opponent has a lot of titanium or cash left over. And few cards. Next up, Gardener. Gardener is still high for the two, same two reasons that uh, Mayor is, which is it's a standard project. And the number is three. And so, yeah, Gardener, I would say it's a little harder to steal because uh, it's easier to see coming the, the cards. That there are less cards that place a greenery directly. Uh, so there's Plantation, which requires two science tags, and Protected Valley is actually more expensive than the standard project because it costs 26. Um, 
so there aren't really that many cards that place uh, uh, really so you really depend more on the standard project which you've done with mayor you can play some C chip series with mayor but it's still like if they wanna if you're up two to one in this milestone and they do one at the end of the turn one at the beginning of the next turn and use the you know additional action to buy the milestone then they can do it so Gardner is one that if you have the three just like mayor you don't want to wait for it and finally planner now planner is the least volatile one in my opinion and that's because you can just see it coming very easily uh, your opponent can get four cards per turn plus whatever they're drawing and usually they can only draw one per action because there are some cards that draw you two cards but you're using one to play that card and then there are some cards that draw you cards every turn you know like uh, development center or street area the f of course the exception is ai central but if you someone's playing that early on you you probably don't worry about that game it's it's gone but generally you can only do an extra card production and four cards at the beginning of each generation so you can really like if your opponent is on nine you know you're even if it's on 10 you know you're safe because they can get the four cards and then use two actions to get two cards but they don't have an additional action to buy the milestone so yeah this one's really safe usually the one thing is the, the sort of contradiction is that as soon as you get the 16 cards you wanna pay for this uh because you wanna play cards fast and you don't wanna really have 16 cards in your hand for a long time uh, so even though it's pretty safe you still have to buy it pretty much as soon as you get to 16 because you don't want to be sitting at 16th card for long so the only uh one that you can somewhat sit on is builder i would argue if you're up by three or four tags you're probably safe however that's rarely the case because as i said this is the most one of the most common uh milestones people go for so really in this map most of most of the milestones when you get to the number you usually want to take it almost immediately you can sit on some for a little bit but not too much so let's go into deviation and like i said this is how much you need to deviate from what you would normally do in order to get the award the milestone sorry obviously the more deviation the worse the milestone is and the less the better so let's start with builder builder in my opinion very low and that's because uh, there are just a lot of good early building tags so mining area mining rights titanium mine mine uh, natural preserve all of these are cards that you can play early and they're actually a good place early they're helping your development not only that but it's just you usually start with one or more if you're going for this uh, milestone because a lot of corporations have the tag and a lot of preludes have the tag although some of the preludes are not the strongest but uh yeah still this is something that you might have to play at one or two cards earlier than you would but nothing more than that Terraformer is slow and that's usually because you're going for a fast terraforming strategy when you go for this award uh, This milestone, sorry And uh, I mean the only problem is that you get to it very late. There's really no good way to force terraformer And there's a few scenarios where you might have to pay for a standard project greenery aquifer or asteroid To maybe get the last step, but in general if you're just throwing big asteroids at Mars you're doing the right thing so i would still say the deviation is slow but when you have to pay for a standard project that's usually very expensive for our generation so a little worse than builder mayor is high and the reason is you don't want three cities in gen 2 or 3 you really don't uh again if you're tharsis you, you'll get one and you that's the only scenario where you're good to play a little more because the cities are better for tharsis but other than that, the city preludes are not great, which is one of the main things that give you a head start. Uh, the two space cities that exist in the uh, base game press prelude, Phobos and Ganymede Colony. Ganymede Colony is really a last turn play 90% of the time for me. The only reason you play it early is to steal Mayor, which means it's a deviation. And Phobos you can play at mid game because it gives you the titanium income. 
but really mostly played for the points so yeah i would say uh mayor is definitely one you have to deviate a lot Gardner is low and that's because if you're going for a greenery strategy and you have some fast cards like arctic algae or your equine you want to place the greenies as fast as possible you never want to delay them because you want you don't want your plants to get nuked so yeah gardener you i would say very low playing greeneries early is great as long as you're not doing with standard projects um which you might have to but still you usually have time to play this for plants if you go for a plant strategy so i would say gardener you're usually on a very low deviation and then planner uh i would say it's medium um and the thing about planner is you're just gonna have to probably buy some one or two extra cards in the draft that are either completely useless or even if they were useful you normally wouldn't buy them because they're gonna play a lot later but because the price of buying a card is a lot less than playing a cd or buying a standard terraforming step i would say still medium uh, but like I said, you want to claim this fast because you don't want to be holding a lot of cards a lot of the time. Okay, up next, blockability. And as I said, I'll recap, this is how much you can block the player from getting it. So first off, builder uh, uh, and builder is medium because you can, if you're drafting. If you're not drafting, it's basically zero. Uh, however, I think most people play with with draft so i'm just assuming that and you can easily block building tax in draft you get to see seven cards your opponent only gets to see one card that you don't see and so you can actually do a good job of blocking this if the building tax in the draft are uh low and this is actually something i don't see people do uh if you see your opponent at around five and with no path to another milestone start blocking the building tax the other thing is they're usually not bad to play, even if they deviate a little from your strategy, so block the building tax in the draft. For Terraformer, I would say hi. There's not that many cards that can get you a lot of terraforming steps, and if you block them in the draft, it's, it's almost impossible unless you're UNMI. That's the only scenario, I think. Uh, but yeah. It, this you're never gonna get to a former by just doing standard projects and even though heat and plant production can help it they're, you're not gonna get that fast with just that you usually need asteroids or something like arctic algae which will require oceans uh, and usually oceans that are on standard project oceans so yeah i would say terraformer is very easy to block and it's also mostly because it just goes late Mayor is really hard to block, the reason for that, it, there's a standard project for it. So if someone wants to get Mayor, they'll probably be able to get it, they just have to deviate a little bit. Uh, you can block the city cards, but ultimately paying an, one of the cities, uh, the, the last city for a standard project is something I do all the time and it's not a big deal, it's totally worth it for the milestone. Garner, a little lower. Uh, sorry, just a little higher than Mayor, uh, and the reason for that is that you can nuke plants and you can somewhat make it difficult to place greeneries with your cities, but still very hard to block. Uh, it's three and there's a standard project for it. Uh, the only advantage is that you can nuke the plants a little bit, but even then those are, there, there aren't that many asteroids in the game to do this with. And then planner, I would say very low, but it's really impossible. Nothing you can do about your opponent buying the cards. So yeah, this is actually they're both very low, mayor and this, but this is the lowest. If you see someone going for planner, sitting on twelve cards, assume they're taking it. Uh, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay, so that's it for the characteristics. And basically, if you see sort of where each lands. Uh, so usually the, the green colors are going to be good and the red orange are going to be bad. And so, I don't know, that may help you decide what uh, milestones to go for when you don't have a clear path to one. Uh, and that, that's really the important thing. I mean, obviously if you're Tharsis, you're not worried, but when you're something like Credit Core, which can do anything, 
it can and, and you're very, very versatile it, this I, I'm hoping this can help you decide a little what to do um, my favorite word to go for when I don't know what to go for is usually builder I just start stockpiling on building tax in the draft and the other thing I like to do is stealing uh, gardener and mayor for people but uh, yeah, and the other thing I probably do is planner if I don't have a because you, you can't be stopped for going into planner and the deviation is medium uh, usually if your cards don't align you can't go for gardener you can go for mayor but at a high cost and terraformer you're probably gonna be beat into a, three other milestones so I would rarely plan to go for terraformer without a bunch of asteroids or you and in mind okay so let's go into what corps have an advantage and I rank them by uh, most likely to least likely within the likely ones. So first off, Builder, the biggest one is Mining Guild. And the reason is you start with two building tax, uh, steel income, five steel, and the capacity to just raise your income really fast. Uh, my goal with Mining Guild is usually to get to five uh, steel income within the Three, first three generations and you can easily do that um, after that uh, interplanetary cinematics now they do have the crazy 20 steel to start with but they have one less tag and they also don't have any like the capacity that mining guild has to raise their income and they start with no income so if you do what I said and just get your income to five in the third generation you'll find that you'll stockpile about 10 extra steel which puts you at 15 uh, because you're also picking it from the ground while you're doing it uh, so you're five behind I see with an extra tag and I, I think that gives the edge to mining guild in terms of which one has the, the bigger edge on it so yeah mining guild then I see because of the 20 steel uh, Factorum can actually draw steel cards, which is amazing. Uh, and this makes it a lot harder to block because they can just get it. <laughs> if they're on 7, they can get it, play it, get the milestone, there's nothing you can do to stop it. So um, I think they're the third best for it. Uh, Acadian communities, they start with 10 steel, so half what I see does. And they usually play a ground game. They're, they're but they can delay it, so uh, I would say that 10 steel still sends them on that way. Now it's Shun Ching. Uh, they don't have any advantage in terms of acquiring cards, but they do play them a little cheaper. This is not as good as the, the 20 steel or the 10 steel that Factorum gets, or the amount of steel an extra attack that Mining Guild is gonna get. But still, you can play them a little cheaper. You can maybe after you play three or four the next one's technically free so yeah Shangqing. then Manutech and Manutech uh, I mean other, aside from the tag they get the steel they produce a generation early so if you basically you have a, an advantage if you have a lot of steel production cards and then Tharsis uh, and I think with Tharsis is besides the tag and you'll I mean all uh, seven corporations that I listed here have a building tag but Tharsis also wants to play a lot of uh, cities and energy tax and those usually come with a building tag so it just aligns really well with the milestone they have to not deviate a lot from it and so that's why maybe they're the seventh closest but uh, yeah I, I would say the strongest one definitely mining guild and IC lower factor and mechanism and shang ching and then my attack and tharsis with mostly the tag as the advantage and sort of alliance with the strategy um so for terraformer unmi is king um they'll they're, they're if unmi is in game terraformer is gonna be one of the three milestones for sure they get there really fast um they basically get uh four steps for free and with preludes it's actually a lot easier for them so well it's not for free you pay 12 for the four steps but that's totally worth it and 
yeah that that the difference between 15 and 11 is a lot so even i might get there the other one is lakefront resorts and that's because uh the oceans uh they, they can actually play them really cheap they still need some help from cards you're not gonna just throw a bunch of sp oceans at the board but lakefront because of the starting capital and the ocean bonus and the ocean income makes them want to play early so that they're the only ones that i i think can go easily for terraformer maybe eco line third uh but they need more help for mayor the winner is tharsis so they start with the city and they also just benefit from people playing cities so people don't want to play them which makes them sort of like a soul contender um and they benefit from playing cities a little more than everyone else early so cheap cities are actually used as like something like corporate stronghold can be used as a developmental card they get four income and they only pay 11 for it so uh, plus the energy so the, it actually pays back in five generations not a bad developmental card for it for them so yeah tharsis is king mayor then uh interplanetary cinematics again uh i think nearly all cities have a building tag except the space ones so like if they have nothing to dump their steel on they can do it on some cities to get the uh milestone uh and then Acadian communities 10 steel plus their ground corporation and credit core because they get a discount on the standard project i this is a slight advantage not as big as tarsis but yeah those those corporations can do a little better on that uh okay so gardener obviously ecoline uh don't have to explain that one that's all they do filaris they start with the greenery so yeah huge step forward it's one third of the milestone and they usually want to go for a ground game and be in your face early in the game they can also get a plant uh, as the resource they pick up even though i usually go for titanium but uh yeah you can get a plant and finally credit core again because of these kind of standard projects and finally planner so the king here is terralabs uh, and that's because they have no disadvantage in actually buying every card they see. Uh, now they might have to sell some to pay them, to, to, to be able to play other cards, but they they can easily go for planner and it's much cheaper. With basically no drawback, you can just buy the milestone and then sell all the cards you're not going to use. Uh, then MSI and Ventrix, uh, sort of a tie, but they do draw three cards. Uh, as part of their first action so obviously that's uh, an advantage and then I would argue point Luna uh, they can trust a lot of early cards because a lot of earth decks are great when you play them early uh, you know acquired company sponsors earth office earth catapult even though earth catapult is not cheap but you have a lot of cheap uh, cards that draw point Luna uh, more cards so point luna actually usually i and they draw one with their corporation and often with their payloads so i usually see point luna draw three or four cards with their ability on the first two or three generations which is huge it's m technically more than msi or inventix but uh msi and Ventrix draw them for sure and then finally celestic they draw two instead of three um they're a little more poor uh so, well, MSI, I would say it's ahead of Inventrix because they start with a little more mega credits, but that's all. Okay, so let's go into caps. Uh, and what caps you from getting builder? The main thing is cards. So, you can play building tags that you don't have. So, the main cap on builder is going to be uh, cards, and the second cap is money. Uh, and this is why I see a mining guild also stronger than I see because the building tag the second building tag on their corporation is an extra card and card is the biggest gap not money that i see has more of uh, for terraforming there's three there's cards money and generations so cards because uh obviously there's all the asteroids are cards money because it's very expensive and generations because when you're producing the terraforming resources plants and heat you have to wait for each generation to generate more so terraformer you need three things to go uh 
to help you when you're going for it, and this is why it's the hardest milestone to uh, get. Mayor is only capped by money, uh, and that's because, like I said, you have a standard pride for it. So if you're rich, you can get mayor. Uh, now cards help, but cards are never gonna stop someone from getting mayor, only money. Same thing with gardener, there's a standard product, I don't need to explain that one. And finally, planner, the thing that caps planner is only the generations. I mean, cards help a little, but really the four cards you get each generation is gonna be what prevents you from getting planner earlier. So, yeah, most uh, milestones are obviously going to be capped by money. I don't think planner is capped by money because you can afford three mega credits to buy a card almost for sure if that's the only thing keeping you from getting the milestone. Uh, you can technically buy the 12 cards and pay eight for the milestone. Uh, so that's 20 mega credits total and that's your starting income. So it's not capped by money. And finally, the alignment. So these are the general strategies that I see go with each milestone. Uh, uh, so Booth Builder, obviously an engine game focused on minerals, specifically steel, a more city focused ground game. Uh, and there's basically, I would say there's two types of ground game. There's a more rushy, ocean walking, greenery game, and there's a greenery plus cities game, uh, which is a little slower, but tries to get more points of cities. Uh, and finally, uh, when you f go heat and energy, try to rush the heat and energy, a lot of those cards are have building tags. So yeah, heat and energy, you can also get builder. Uh, for terraformer, you have to rush the game. It's the only way to get terraformer, you have to rush. And even then you might not accomplish it. Uh, for mayor, the ground cities game that I mentioned in builder, and also uh, an engine game with uh, mega crates and steel if you get a really big income early with uh, some crazy combos like uh, you know earth uh, catapult earth office cartel space hotels uh, or something like uh, an early satellites after a lot of good space cards but that's rare you can basically you're basically more likely to be able to afford two uh standard project cities still a big deviation but you can go for it with an engine game now gardener you can do the ground rush game that i mentioned which is just usually ocean walking with less protected greeneries or you can go for ground cities and then you're usually going for both gardener mayor and builder this is uh, tharsis favorite uh, now you're gonna be slower to gardener than builder and mayor when you do that, but you might still get there early if you get lucky with the plant cards like Arctic algae basically would help you a lot. And finally planner, the best thing is go for an engine game uh, with science and MC. Um, and that's because if you're gonna hold 16 cards at one point, you might as well try to play as many. You can technically do this with any strategy, you just have to keep the cards, but you basically just shoot yourself in the foot if you're trying to rush the game by buying our list cards. Uh, plus, if you have Science and Cairo, this can come just a little faster. So yeah, it aligns more with that. And that's it, I hope you liked the video. Like I said, I'm not gonna be just stating any actual conclusions. Uh, I just wanted to build a chart and let everyone just <laughs> draw the conclusions that you wanted. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Are there any categories or characteristics or any disagreements? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, all this shit. You know, see you next time. Bye.